Hello guys, how are you? And welcome to my first reading vlog in this apartment. Uh, if you guys haven't been watching like my previous vlogs, I finally moved and yeah, this is like my new apartment and the sun is gone. Yeah, welcome to another reading vlog. I am, this is going to be like a more permanent setting for me now and you are going to get used to like the background. Uh, you can see now I have shelves, but they are still not organized and hopefully I'm going to organize them in this vlog with you guys um, actually there are books and manga all over my floor right now <laughs> it's terrifying I don't have time to fix them uh, or to organize them but hopefully hopefully it will make some time this week so I am starting a reading vlog and for some reason I am in a romance reading mood I don't know why but I've just been reading romance and I feel like reading let romance. me show you guys my TBR I'm going to be reading uh, Sign of Affection Volume 1. I am so excited to read this. This is like the number one shoujo right now and everyone was talking about this manga. But yeah, like in general, everyone's excited about it. My sister just read it and she said this is one of the best shoujo manga she has ever read like in a while. So I have here Volume 1 looking adorable and I have Volume 2 as well. Ugh. The art is so beautiful and the covers are incredible and I also have uh, my love mix up on I'm going to read it on my iPad I'm really really excited to read this one because the live action drama has just dropped uh, I think three episodes are out now and everyone has been talking about it and the drama has been going viral like on TikTok and Douyin and Instagram and everywhere like it's just it looks so so good so I got the first, vo the first volume I'm really excited to read it actually and if i have time then i want to check the drama as well so maybe i'll watch the first two episodes or something with you guys and tell you guys what i think uh next i want to read the witch and the beast the second volume as you know I told you before oh, okay. um, and if i finish it and go to the manga store then i'll buy the rest or i can just read them on my ipad and you know what this is about i talked about this before i've been raving about it all year actually this is gonna be like one of my favorite new manga series of 2021 and then we have the man wonderland i have the first volume and the second volume right here this these i have like complete but these are like the ones i want to finish this week um i know the week is supposed to be chill like it's supposed to be chill because we're just starting with neurology if you don't know i'm a med student um so i'm just starting with neurology is not going too far into it like only like this week so second week is where i'm going to cry uh but first week is supposed to be like chill i've also been reading neverwhere by neil gaiman it's right over there uh but here is the dust jacket i have been really enjoying it and it's a quite a lengthy book but i have been like really really enjoy reading it now i have to film a video like really really fast and then i have to go to my internship i didn't have any classes in the morning but i have classes all afternoon like four hours of classes um and maybe later i'll go to the library and study uh but these are the plans for the day and i hope you enjoy this reading vlog and yeah i'm going to update you guys later bye bye for now Oh, I think I'm going to start with my love mix-up because I'm almost excited for that one. So yeah, bye! guys how are you so i just wanted to update you that i have finished nothing <laughs> i started my love mix up yesterday and i'm still really in the beginning but if you don't know what it's about it's about this guy these three high school students and they're sitting in their class and the teacher all of a sudden is like there's a pop quiz and our main character has lost his eraser and so he asks his friend to 
give him her eraser and she does and you know what that girls in japan what they do is they write the name of their crushes under the wrapping of the eraser and by mistake he sees oh there's something written and he reads aida heart and um he finds out that she likes aida the person who's sitting right in front of him and then when aida is like giving him the paper for the pop quiz the eraser falls and Ida picks it up and he reads his name on the eraser. So what does he think now? He thinks that Aoki, the guy who's sitting behind him, has a crush on him. And because he really doesn't want to like tell Ida about this is not his eraser, he doesn't really want to show like you know, like the girl's um like feelings. So he just tells him that it is his eraser. And now we have all of this confusion and now Aida thinks that Aoki, the guy behind him, has a crush on him and this is why the mix-up happened and I, it's really really cute, the art is magnificent and hopefully I want to finish it today and then I want to start Sign of Affection because I'm really excited to read that one as well Right now I was filming and I'm going to film Another video after this, I'm filming my hauls. Yeah, this is a very, very busy day. And now I've just been putting away the manga after I've finished filming the vlog. I'm just gonna put them here randomly. After I finish the haul, I mean. So I'm just gonna put them, oh, please stop falling. Put them randomly and then after I finished filming, I would, you know, like, put them properly in their places which i don't know what yet everyone is like so excited about seeing my shelves on instagram and that's putting major pressure on me because i have zero like organizing tidying skills and i just don't think my shelves are going to be really cute or anything like that and i don't know what to do um so yeah I'm going to be updating you later. Bye. Baby, if you like my looking on the bright side, you yeah, haven't smiled in so long. Just a simple reaction leads to our attraction. Let's me up from being so wrong. And I don't know. Oh, baby, where do I should go? Guys, so I just finished filming i found three videos and i am so tired right now but i really want to organize my shelves like today and just finish like tidying all my room um so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to change into some comfy clothes eat lunch because i still haven't eaten and then get to work on the books uh if you can see right now let me show you so they're really messy and everything is like not in its place um uh, like it's just everything is like everywhere and it's really messy and nothing is making sense so what i the first thing that i want to do so the first thing that i want to do is put the series together like at least like manga series or book series together and like books by one author put them together as well there's a bookshelf behind you as well let me show you it's this one so this bookshelf what i want to do is i don't want to fill it with books because i want to put like little trinkets on it as well and i want to buy some vases and stuff like that so what i'm gonna do is i want to put like some poetry books and shoujo manga mostly over here oh, uh, yeah so let's eat and wear some comfy clothes and then we'll get working on the bookshelves okay I have to clean my room as well. So I think I'm gonna do that now and then go eat. Let's just live our best life. You and I got our night gizzling on the moonlight. Where'd you? Shoulder one I want most Look into my eyes 
update you i finished reading uh my love mix up yesterday and oh my god i ended up giving it five out of five stars it was so freaking good it was so cute and aesthetically pleasing and the story was really great and the twist at the end was hilarious it's just a really great shoujo slash um could we say Tony and I and comedy as well and it was just really really cute high school manga the greatest thing about this is how kind and thoughtful all the characters are like where do you find friends like these like they're so nice and so cute and so lovable and they are all very very thoughtful and just nice people like genuinely nice and the story it gets really confusing especially for Aoki after he slowly like started discovering how great of a guy Aida is and the twist in the end was hilarious I highly recommend it if you want a feel good hilarious manga that takes place in high school and I'm really looking forward to reading to watching the, the drama today as well and right now I'm going to my classes and I have a really busy day ahead but today is supposed to be like more chill than yesterday but I do have to study today and about my bookshelves um i did not i did not organize them at all yesterday i was so tired after cleaning out my room and putting away stuff and helping with the rest of the house because as you know it's not only my room that's messy it's all of the house so i didn't actually do it but today i after studying as i finished studying and organizing my books i'm going to read a sign of affection i'm really excited to read this one this my sister just read it and she was obsessed with it and she took my books again and she reread them and she just kept on rereading them because saying that this is like the best shoujo she's ever read and I'm so excited to try it out for myself so right now I'm going to go to my classes and I'm going to update you guys later but before that coffee let's go get coffee bye Such stimulus afferent perception, stimulating stimulation of a receptor.
guys so good morning today is the next day but i didn't update you guys yesterday because i was so tired after finishing the bookshelves i this is the final look i didn't want to like separate the manga from the books and i didn't want to put it according to genres or authors i just wanted a mashup and this is the result it's not the best but in all honesty i'm not that creative person and so on this is what we got now i have still some packages left to open and there's some missing naruto volumes there and this is like gonna change this is not gonna stay like the same but for now this is what we have and we're just gonna go with it you know like um maybe i'll update to change some bits like later on in the future um i put some shoujo manga here and i wanted otsubora like right in your face because I feel like she terrifies people when they look at when she looks at them. But this is it. These are my bookshelves for now. Right now I have to go study, but I will update you about a sign of affection later on. Hello guys how are you so i just wanted to update you since i last updated you i have finished volume one and volume two of a sign of affection and i have to say this is my new favorite series of 2021 i've said that like all year long but in all honesty recently i've read some great great releases great new manga releases and this is definitely one of them manga is so freaking cute it is so good and you can just tell how layered it is and how much there is to know about for later on you know so these two volumes were a perfect introduction um, and also like my obsession at the moment me and my sister my sister read these like three times both of them and I'm, I've just been squealing whenever I pick it up in all honesty so if you don't know what this is about this is this the story follows our main character Yuki who is a college student she is deaf and she is also mute and she is starting college and she's really excited because she's finally you know living the life she has always wanted to live she has friends and she's wearing cute clothes and everything is like perfect until a foreigner asks her until a foreigner asks her for direction on the train and she doesn't know what to do until this person right here called Itsumi he interferes and he kind of saves her he finds out that she is deaf and that kind of like opens this world for him it's a weird way to say it but that's how he put it and then they end up meeting at college because they are in the same college and they get start to get to know each other but he <laughs> That man, y'all, that man is dangerous because my little child, you know, my cute little child, she's very innocent. She has you no know, experience. She has never been into this world. And it's to me, he's too much. No, he's too much. He is too, uh, 
experienced in this like he knows what he's doing and he totally got her wrapped around his finger and he also got me wrapped around his finger because i'm simping really really hard for this y'all and the whole manga and honesty is just so adorable so we're going to follow yuki as she experiences this new world of college students and you know first love and stuff like that and of course she has gone through a lot you know as so we will know more about her struggles as a deaf person in college and he probably has some layers of trauma as well so we will know about those in the future as well but i'm really excited and i can't wait to get the i think one volume has been released after this and the fourth volume will be released in de december i believe I just want to go to the bookstore and pick them up, you know, uh, so yeah, this is I gave both of these five stars and I absolutely recommend it uh, What I want to do today today we have a very very busy day, but I I really want to watch the my love mix up the first episode So I'm going to check it out and then I'm going to update you about that later And then I'll end up this vlog because I feel like it's very very long. So yeah, uh, I will update you guys later. Bye Hello guys, so I just wanted to wrap up the vlog and tell you about my thoughts about Keita Hatsukoi or my love mix up. So I finished watching the first episode and I have to say it was the cutest and I highly recommend it if you just want to chill and you know just enjoy something really cute and adorable and it's it really calmed me you know if you're having like if you're really stressed or something like that like i highly recommend watching it because it was so adorable and just chill the greatest thing about the manga is how very nice and adorable all of the characters are and the same goes for the drama you know i think that they chose the actors perfectly everyone everyone was chosen to represent the characters in the manga perfectly like they fit the role so much like it was made for them and you know i think the first episode was like maybe half of the first volume and they, it was like exactly like the first volume the only thing there was an addition of a cabadon that wasn't in the manga uh but it was really adorable and like it would fit uh, but yeah, I really highly highly recommend reading, reading the manga and watching the drama as well It's just really really cute and I believe it's on Netflix now the drama So yeah, I think you really should check it out. Thank you so much for watching my vlog and Like and, and like and subscribe and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, -bye.